I am Connie Reza. Welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. And we have been doing a series on the uh, unit on insects. Well, today I am going to demonstrate day four, a follow-up of day three. Remember yesterday we talked about the life cycle of insects. So today I am going to demonstrate day four. Now for day four, the very first thing children are gathered in front of me. And what is the first thing I'm going to ask them? What is this? An insect. What have we been studying? Insects. So the minute they see my novelty, uh, their brain connects to our subject area and it's insects. So now let's review about the insect. How many parts does an insect have? Three, one, two, three. So using the same insect, we can also review, besides our chart, we can also review with our novelty. That's why it's so important to have novelty that relates to the subject and the children can connect to. I can also say, how many legs does my insect have? And you can see it here on this side. Oh, it has three on each side. So make sure you review and spend time using the novelty so you can make sure to gather all the children's attention. And everybody will slowly begin to connect. After my engagement, now we have been studying about insects. Well, today we're going to identify different types of insects. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to have a little engagement activity where the children are going to be actively engaged. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give every child an insect, which they have been observing already. So every child will have an insect in their hands and, of course, a magnifier. And I'm going to tell them, I want you, this time, I want you to see all the characteristics that we studied and we're going to see specific things about the different insects. And we're going to be looking at the different types. What specific characteristics do they have now? We concluded on, on the day one, on the introduction, and on day two, that insects have different parts, legs. Well, not today. We're going to see what other characteristics can we observe from the different names of insects. Okay, so... I give the children ample time to observe, to look with their magnifier, uh, and to look for all the detail during their engagement. Remember, engagement is where children are connected within themselves with a magnifier in their hand and the insect in the other hand. So both hands are busy, so their little brain can only go to what they have in front of them, which is an excellent way to have children gather additional information and, of course, review what they have been studying. After the engagement, now I'm going to put up a chart and we're going to see what did they learn from their engagement. So let me put my little chart up. Now, oh my goodness, some of my insects got stuck on here. Now, the very first thing I want to see, how many, which child or which children had the ladybug. So I want you to look at to see who of you had the ladybug in your hand. So the children that were observing the ladybug will raise their hand and I'm going to say, okay, look at the ladybug. How many legs does the ladybug have? So they're going to say, of course, it has six. And I'm going to ask all the children, what about the rest of you? Does your ladybug also have six legs? Yes. How many body parts does the ladybug have? Three. Okay, does everybody look at their ladybugs? Do all of you have, does your ladybug have three parts? Absolutely. So here, what I'm doing here, we're talking about a ladybug. We're not specifically studying only ladybugs because ladybugs is an insect, but now we're reviewing the different parts. What about antennas? How many does it have? Two. Very good. How many wings does the ladybug have? Ah, it has under there, right? So you continue to write, and of course the color, it's red with uh, black, R-E-D, and black, V-L-A-C-K. So continue to do the, the whole thing on the chart now. What about a cricket? Who has the cricket? 
in the courts, probably three or four children, depending how many children you have, will probably get the cricket. And now, whoever has the cricket, I want you to tell me how many legs does a cricket have? Six. Very good. How many body parts does a cricket have? Three. You continue and then, okay, what color? Well, maybe some of them may have a green one, some may have a, a brown one. So, yeah, just write the color here. And from there, of course, let's move on to the uh, B. How many legs does the B have? Six. How many body parts does the B have? Three. How many antennas? Two. Continue to write everything down. And I'm going to show you one more which is the grasshopper. Okay, look at the grasshopper. How many legs does a gra grasshopper have? And everybody can raise their grasshopper up as they're observing it. Oh, the grasshopper has six legs. Very good. Well, how many body parts? Can you count the body parts of the grasshopper? One, two, three. He has three. How many antennas does he have? Two. Okay, we'll bite two here. Now, do you see the pattern here? Now children are going to be able to see that all of these are insects. They look different in appearance, but they all have the same characteristics. They all have six legs. They all have three body parts. They all have two antennas. They all have wings. And the wings are between two to four. So they might be able to see it with a little plastic, but if they don't, let's move into our literacy. Let's look at the book to find out if the ladybug has four wings or two wings. Also, how many eyes? We'll look and see. What type of eyes? Are they simple eyes or compound eyes? So the book that I would introduce is Have You Seen Bugs? And in this book, this is an excellent book by um, Joanne Oppenheim, and it's illustrated by Ron Broda. And look at this book. This book has different types of insects. Here are two different ones, and it talks a little bit about the two insects right here. And here's another two insects, different different in appearance. Here's another two, different in appearance. And continue to read the book and you will see that there's different insects on almost every page. And you can see, oh, this one has two wings. So we can look at our chart and see, oh, do we identify this insect? So continue to look at here. And many times, if there's an insect we're talking about here and it's not listed, children will recognize, oh, we don't have that insect up there. And I usually like to do this really long, a long chart, because I do like to include as many insects as I can. So this is an excellent book. Now the next one is technology. In technology, they can look up any of these insects. They can look up any of those type of insects and see a wide variety of insects. And of course, my final question is, share with the class one thing you learned about insects today. Thank you.